Okay, quick question. What color is the sun? Is it red? Yellow? White? What if I said it was actually green? Don't believe me? Then watch this video to find out more. Over the past few weeks, Twitter has been debating the colour of our closest star, with some insisting it's actually changed colour since they were kids. It all started last week when Twitter user Jackie Devoy tweeted that the round yellow sun she remembers as a child has suddenly turned white and wonky looking. In a matter of days, that tweet went viral and divided users up into two camps. Those that agreed with Devoy and those said the sun has always looked white. So what's the truth? From 93 million miles away, the sun usually looks like a white spot in the sky. But the reason many of us perceive the yellow tint has to do with the way light is scattered by our atmosphere. So molecules in the air redirect sunlight's blue and violet wavelength, allowing more yellow and red wavelengths to hit our eyes. That's also why the sky looks blue, but I'll save that for another video. And these colours change during the day as the Earth rotates. At dawn and dusk, the sunlight has to pass through a thicker atmosphere, so more molecules scatter the blue hues, and this leads to dazzling displays of orange and red during sunset. So what colour is the sun? Is it yellow? Is it white? Or what? According to science, it's a little bit of both, but also neither. According to NASA, the sun would actually appear green if you could handle looking at it. Basically, when you look at the sun, there's enough of all the different colours in it, and it's so bright that the neurons in everybody's retinas are firing like crazy, and it's saying it's too bright for me to tell you what colour it is. So that's why the sun looks like white to us. So essentially, our sun is a green star that looks white because it's too bright, and it can appear yellow or orange or red because of how our atmosphere works in scattering the wavelengths of light. So what we perceive as the sun's hue is really light bouncing off surfaces. When it comes to stars, colour equals temperature. So the hotter a star, the more blue light it gives off, while cooler stars will appear red. So why are some people convinced that it's turned whiter? And that's got more to do with our brain's perception of the sun than astrophysics. And the perceptions can differ from person to person. So when astronomers mean colour, they're really talking about temperature. And to anyone in the public, colour just means the colour you see and how you make sense of the world. So in the physical sense, or in the most physical sense, colour is what people see when the wavelength of light enters the eye. Specialised cells in your retina detect that light and send signals to the brain which translate the waves into the colours that we see. And although everybody is essentially receiving the same information, what we make of that information is marked by the individual life experiences and backgrounds. Remember the great white dress, blue dress war of 2015. People perceive that dress to be one colour or the other depending on their perception. The same input, but what you make of it gives you different answers. So people who are used to being in sunlight, the dress looked one way. For people who are more used to being in shallow, it looked a different way. So when you're a kid, you don't necessarily pay that much attention to the deep philosophical questions about the nature of colour and light in the way you might start to when you're getting older. And when you're looking out your office on a sunny day, you suddenly realise that the sun looks a little different to what it looked like when you was a kid. So perhaps you've just overridden that memory of what the sun looked like as a child with the learned associations of things like yellow equals the sun, which you lean on heavily as a child. Final answer, the sun is green, but we see it as white. Hope that helps. So hope you found that video useful. As before, please like and subscribe if you want more of these science videos. And I'll be back with another science video in the near future. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Bye-bye.